What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Factory Town. Where we left off is the same place we are at, which is wonderful. It means you haven't missed anything. And that would be setting up a line for remedies based on the fish oil coming in from a fish farm. Cargo ships, two of cargo ships to that barn there in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. The fish then comes out into the medicament building, the medicine building. That then turns that into fish oil. There is then some farms as well to incorporate the medicines on its own. The cargo ships are pretty quick. I mean, look at them go. For cargo ships, that's, that's fast, right? They hold 40 each, and two of them is enough to keep the fishery empty. Uh, one of them wouldn't. The barn is filling up very quick. It holds a couple of hundred, I think, upgraded it, though, uh, to 800 it holds now. But, of course, it's not being used quite yet because we are still setting it up. Now, I'm wasting time pratting around with these stones, the mana stones, the yellow stones, which are earth stones, I think. Um, I, I'm not going to be doing them yet, so we don't need to watch this because I get rid of it all. So, bringing in some wood as well because it does require heat to make the remedy. So just chucked in some random automatic, there's no farm or anything, or forestry. It's just, I think, nine people and a few trees. Uh, here is, this is the sugar farm, I believe, yes. So we've got medicine on the left, sugar cane on the right. They go in along with the fish to make fish oil, the wood there as a fuel. Although not as efficient as coal, it's easier because it was closer. And there was some woods that hadn't already ripped down. So you can see there we are making the remedy, the fish oil, and the ointment, is it? No, antidote, there we go. So you make the remedy uh, and the fish oil. You combine the two together with some sugar, and it makes the antidote. That sounds awful. Honestly, if you think about it right now and you get some medicine, medicinal plants, whatever they may be, I don't know. Grind it up, mix it with a bit of fish oil, add some sugar... And what is that going to be an antidote for? It won't be anti-sickness because it will make me boff. Just saying. Anyway, I digress. Um, and then obviously the outgoing metal line there that will bring those completed goods over to the apothecary where they have to be sold. Now, according to the radar thing there, I've already made 10. I think that's correct. Yeah, it's making them, not delivering them. So we've already made 10 remedies out of the 50. Of course, the metal belts... I completed that long before we even got to this level because I was rushing them because I need them. Um, the happiness is still pushing 950-ish. This may or may not push that over to level 10. We'll see. And of course, we're very close to getting to research level 6. And as I continue to mess around getting these you can see the research has been completed i'm trying to get antidote and remedy uh, both coexisting and sent to the apothecary but it's proving more complicated than i wanted it to be so we may have to and you know what i'm just thinking about it right now can i use the liquid pipes for this and if you are that very helpful viewer that already said told me about this and these are liquid uh, sorry these are able to go through a liquid pipe i am so sorry i don't know why i didn't think about it they look like liquid so i i certainly will next time i play figure that out so don't worry if it is possible i will be doing it in the meantime you can see now we have popped on the 1052 just dropping below up above below up above because them goods are being delivered. So we can now go up to level 6 research when I remember to click the button. And also an additional set of houses for the happiness level 10. So we are level 6. I never actually clicked the button and the happiness dropped down a bit because I did move a few buildings. I've also gone around and bought the entire map. Uh, it's only 500 gold per square. We've got 150k. 10,000 blue, 85,000 red. Why did I say it in that order? I should have gone red then blue. Anyway, again, I think we're getting close to the mana part now, or I'm hoping so. And in the next episode, I will be, of course, fixing that liquid if it is possible. You can see the remedies coming out of there. There's not a massive amount. Maybe. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was that was gating me. Um, but for now, it seems to be at least running 
to give us the blue coins which we so desire. The only one remaining after the blue coins is the purple. And I'm pretty sure that comes from the mana or the magical sort of items that you get from the stone. And as you can see here, I'm building the magic forge just to have a look at what it is and what it does. Seems that mana, uh, mana crystals are made with the crystals, the mana crystals and a bit of heat. Uh, and then there were some fancy ones there as well. These are new items, and I'm not sure where I need to sell these yet. I need to figure that one out as we go. But we will, together, so don't worry. We'll look at that next. Capped out the village to the maximum houses of 70. So 70 by 70. 726 residents now. Next to this, I have built a cotton farm. Outside of that cotton farm are two of the workshops. One will be making cloth and providing the cloth to the people. And the other one will be sending the cloth straight into a tailor's to be making clothes. Only the lowest level clothes, but clothes nevertheless to the people also. They will have um, both of those then provided for them. Coming out of one cotton farm, which should easily manage to keep up with that efficiency anyway. It... It certainly will for the cloth. It's the clothing that worries me. Because you've got to go cotton to cloth, cloth to clothes. We'll, we're yet to see. We'll find out. Um, and then next to that, I can even put another one or something else depending. Now, I may end up having to just build two farms. One for clothes and one for cloth. But we'll see. You can see the additional one I'm putting in there now. That is for cotton. So we're going to be providing the people with cotton, cloth, and clothes all from that one farm, if it works. And already that's more than three. I'm sure, and I haven't seen any comments yet, but I'm sure that we only need to provide three items to the general thing. You see I copy and pasted there? There is an instant bridge. Copy and pastoring is my favourite thing, so why not? And there it is, it's up and running. I'm convinced that I can do better. Uh, like, either an additional farm or just plant it better. You can see there is a lot of cloth coming out of that factory and going into the tailors. Uh, the tailor has produced a decent amount of clothes there into the silos. I'm using silos so that they don't back up and allow the carts there to come and fetch them. As long as they don't back up in the silo, production should remain. If it does back up, I just put another cart in. Like that, yeah. Like that. And then they just drive down the roads. Unfortunately, if they go down the same road together like that, they then have to start and go all the way back again. Um, I did see a one-way thing, but it don't work for roads, so I'm not sure. Unless it expects me to do all roads double, which I'm not going to do. Um, but you can see there's plenty of coins flowing out throughout the city. Gold, red, and then the odd blue. But definitely the gold and red is quite a nice flow. And then a bit of research to go on top of that. So, so far, so good. We can level up again, just. We are pushing that happiness over 1050. 1050. But for some reason, I don't notice it, even though it is glowing. And I finally clicked it and go up to level 10. Anytime now. And an additional 80 houses. No. Wow, that was an extent. An additional 10 houses putting us to 80. I'm going to get them straight in. You can see I have separated the building slightly. Uh, the one that is providing the cotton for the cloth that goes to the tailor, I have doubled up. So it's got its own farm. And then the other one is giving one to the tailors, one to the cloth, and one directly to cotton. Now, it's it's funny because I didn't realise... I made this overly complicated by sending them all the way down there. I could just build a, a, a general store right here, right? And they go straight into it. You don't, you don't have to have one shot. And this is where I'm not as good at this game as many... Um, because you can build them like you can with the town centres and with the apothecaries. As long as they are linked to the houses, you don't have to put everything into one single shot. And that's where I think I've been struggling since the beginning. But upon learning that, should make this whole process a lot easier. Because then all of these products that we are creating go directly into a building right next door. Just 
just like that. Same problem, easier solution. And now we have all of those items going in. Plenty of cloth, plenty of cotton, and plenty of clothes, which means we're getting plenty of blue coins. So with that, 80 out of 80 house, what we're at, 529. We're only using 529 people out of 788. Happiness is pushing 1200 or thereabouts, just shy of 1200. 1400 for level 11. We need to make scrolls and what look like mana bars, or I think they're mana pipes, to get to the next research level of level 7. And we haven't started that yet because, again, that is the mana stuff and the, I believe, the earth crystals and the, and the light crystals, or whatever they're all called, all them different types of crystals. But what I'm doing is making sure the basic stuff, the easy stuff, the stuff that we never should need to worry about again is up and running like this. And we can forget about it. Forget about it. And then look at the purple coin items. I think we are set, certainly for the gold and red. The blue coins from the medicines, that should be good. I can increase the amount, of course. But I can't quite yet, anyway. Um, over, overkill it. Now, this random spear coal line that's coming over here... It's going nowhere. There's a mindset up. 10 people using it. So I'm going to delete that. The school that's here, I'm hoping to use for the engine. I can't remember what it's called now. It's engineers, research, the, the orange cog. It's still been, it's been 38 for a couple of episodes now. I've really not been bothering with it. Because the research isn't something I'm looking into. I'm still managing to sort out all the older stuff and making sure I'm happy that it can be left alone. But to move forward, we now need to get the fancy things. You can see there's some fancy pebbles being made there. They're going in and being sold. I'm assuming they're... Yeah, they're red coins. Happiness just over 1,200 at the minute. And we are just trying to get a few more items out of these forges. Uh, to go into the general store. But remember, I have seen a comment, and like I say... Giving them the is it the planks, the reinforced planks, is a waste. Um, so I will stop that before I've even started that. Now you can see I need the planks to come over, and we're going into this school. All I've done is move the school over. I'm not having two schools that close together. Um, I've moved it over so it's close in the hope that I can wrap this over and around and straight in to give us that additional items that we need. And it is reinforced planks. No, it's not. It's iron bars I believe that we require for the orange research putting that to one side I found a decent patch of coal and iron ore and I flattened it out and now I'm just going to take some shoots which is the simplest way the ground has been flattened so that it only goes downhill if I do this correctly these will be right up in the mountain using mines but then I'll bring them right the way over here to a forge or tool machine shop to make us a crap ton of iron bars of which we can then use to make various things and when I say a crap ton there's going to be a lot here I'm hoping to get probably three lines out of each of these mines so we get three lines of coal and three lines of iron ore that's two sets of each so far so we can now ask the machine shop to do something for us but first I need to try and switch these around so before they go into the machine shop they need to be put through a forge of course so we can put double coal in and double iron ore in that will then give plenty of resources to say now make me some iron plates the bars the ingots right they don't look anything like plates um, and then the iron plates will be forged and pushed into the machine shop now it's probably going to need, the amount of resource I'm going to give this forge and the way I'm going to upgrade it, it's probably going to need a lot of belts, so there we go. Now what I'm trying to do here is get some metal belts, if you can see I've run out. So that's what this setup is for, because I've used too many already. And although I was making them a while back, I stopped for some reason, I can't remember why. Um, so I'm just doing this as a setup to make sure that that never happens again. 
I've now doubled it up, so there's two forges. So each of these, the, each of these rows goes into a forge. But as you can see, they're coming down wrong. So I want them to be coal, iron ore, coal, iron ore, or anything like that, so that they can easily go straight into the forges. So each forge has a mine of its own for both the fuel and for the metal. So what I'm going to do here is just mess around, <laughs> apparently, um, and make these twist and curve over each other so that I can get each of the two resources side by side so that they easily go into the forges. And I think that should work so you can see the iron line. I need to clear it out. But they now crisscross each other. And now we've got coal, iron, coal, iron. And then just delete all of these. And that should stay like that, which means they go straight into the forges ready and willing to be turned into iron plates as apparently they're called this then gives us double the trouble we can have two or three belts coming out of each of these the machine shop is going to be receiving a serious amount of metal uh, so we should be good for belts we've got 20 which is enough to, to put here to get these wired in um, and then it will be chucking out plenty of belts. You can see there, there's one line and there's two. They go into the machine shop. But of course, I could double that up. Like so. And then just ask it to produce. So it is producing nails, gears and belts at the minute. Now, there's no easy way of getting them out. So I need to get some carts involved for now. Whether they're going into the general store or whether they're going into storage for the belts that would be depends on which they're picking up you can see that is the belt so that's going to go straight into the town center to store for us which the town center can hold i think a thousand three thousand apparently um, and the rest of the store is going to go to the general store now again if the whole three items is the maximum amount you need to give them in general store is the thing then a lot of this stuff is going to get stopped very, very soon because it's a waste to give it to them and not receive much from it, if anything. Reasonably close to where them two mines were. Now they're up and running, as you can see. Uh, I also, the right-hand one's got an additional bit of iron ore going in there because why not? It was there, so I might as well drain it. I also saw some gold. So I am currently bringing in some gold and I'm going to chuck another forge in so that the gold can be cooked up now at the minute i'm not entirely 100 percent sure what i need the gold for whether you just give them random gold bars it makes no sense i mean if you yeah it, what they're going to do with it so i need to figure that out it's probably a research or something to do with the magic we'll have to get to that but you can see it's the same principle um just using shoots because it's easier and one mine it's not turned up yet to full speed they then slide all the way down the hills and mountains, all the way down to the same place that the coal and iron already did. Uh, this will need coal as well, of course, its own source of coal with any luck. And just speed that up to its maximum speed, level 10 on the gold coin boost and 10 workers. Doesn't seem as quick as like the coal and iron, but that's probably because it's more difficult because it's a rare resource, maybe. I'm not sure how that works. But then you can see here it will come in and we'll make gold ingots. What we need the gold ingots for is something that I'm not sure myself. We'll figure that out as we go along. But we are at time anyway, so I am going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. As always, subscribe so you don't miss anything and like if you like. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.